Hi there. <clears throat> yep, just received a package from the post lady today and this is what is inside of it. I think you can see it. It's easier for me to take a picture off my computer. I'll go a bit closer. I think goes super high pressure mercury lamp and you've got some details about it on there. where it's made and the manufacturer the years where it was actually made 76 77 so it's a few years old and there we got the technical data which is always handy if you get these unusual lamps it's nice to know how to operate them if you ever do operate them I for one won't be operating this one but um, nevertheless it will probably get operated at some time when my mate takes it over. Remember I'm going to be a hundred so you know plus. Now it could be a long wait. Anyhow I'm going to go and have a little look at the actual lamp so I'm going to block this out and go out and we will see the lamp. It is unusual. As I said before, I haven't been in the habit of being interested in uh, discharge type lamps, but I'm afraid I have got a couple and as you know the collection's undergoing some changes it doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying in the old lamp. No way. And I'm certainly not going to stop going to boot sales. So the interest is there. Um, it's just been, I, I suppose, like a merging of the two collections with, my, with a lot of my stuff going over to my mate so that he can have the stuff and I can still look around and buy the odd, the odd item. Well anyhow, getting back, this was beautifully packed. Uh, the old bubble wrap was used profusely. It came in a box, well that was a box that was inside the many turns of, um, of bubble plastic and uh, the lamp itself was inside uh, yeah, that was in there as well, and it was beautifully packed. We've got a nice bit of antique cottony wool stuff. So anyhow, I was well pleased it arrived. Um, I'd virtually, well, I hadn't forgotten all about it. I just didn't know when it was going to arrive. Anyhow, there's the lamp. Let me show you it. As I've said before, it is a little bit different. Here you have a short striking electrode which is at the top of the actual lamp. The connection for it is that one at the top. You will say it's all been made out of glass. How they made it I do not know but they obviously made a very good job and you've got your two main electrodes one side of it the other side and you look into the actual area which would form the arc so I can show it a bit better it seems to be shining otherwise oh that's the window doing that hold on Excuse the mess, but unfortunately it's the only way I can give you a clear indication of what is inside. There it is, you've got a close-up there. It's beautifully made. It is like a, a piece of art, I, I suppose you could say. 
So much so that I've ordered another one, not of this type. Well, it's similar to this, but not the exact one. You've got um, an evacuation pip at the bottom there. And if I haven't rubbed it out by putting my blooming great hands on it, now it's on the other side. You've got the the maker. Unfortunately, um, it's not too clear, but from the from the wording that I put up first of all, will tell you who it's made by. And I did in fact copy it out on a piece of paper. Super high pressure mercury lamp designated DRS small h 500M and that was by the Seranx electric lamp plant SELZ Seranx Russia USSR and um, it's dated 1976 to 1977 and 500 watts. The other data I've shown at the start of this little video. As I say I am quite impressed with this. There's to give you an idea of the size. I understand it's um, it says high, yeah, high pressure so obviously take great care that uh, it's not damaged because it could cause it could cause flying glass anyhow this as, as I say is more up uh, the uh, the street of Alex who does know about these lamps and I'm just uh, sort of a, a beginner when it comes to these but anyhow there's the lamp it's got like a a silvering, well, I don't know what it is. It's not silver, it's like a coating on, on there. And the insulation stuff around it looks very much like asbestos. So, obviously, be very careful. It's safe enough as long as it, it doesn't float about in the air. You've got your terminals. And that there is the terminal of the actual igniter, if you like. It's to get the arc going. And that's why you can see inside. Which I must turn around and show you this way. It definitely <coughs> you can see that there, I think, just about the strike of the electrode. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Um, I'll be able to ask them, uh, answer them if I know the answer. If not, um, my, my mate will probably be able, well, not probably, he will be able to answer questions on these. Because I said before, they are more up his street, but... Um, yeah, it's an interesting lamp. I'm glad I got it. I shall have to look after this with great care. I should obviously keep the box it came in and keep it wrapped up in that cotton wool stuff. This, this won't be hung on, on the wall. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. As I say, I'm quite, in, quite impressed with it. And also the size, because you see, there's my hand. And there's the size. It is not enormous. It's quite small. And it pushes out 500 watts. Anyway, thanks again. Thank you. Any questions, ask and, well, as I say, I'll be able to answer them, hopefully, if I can. Thank you again. Thank you.